Hi, this is Jaylene Tracy, and I have an update for you from the Mantis for the month of March, a reflection of the current energies that are available to us on the planet at this moment. The Mantis have been speaking with me a lot lately about what it means to be fully embodied and how we can achieve that during this time of these radical transitions that we're going through. They bring forward wisdom of transitions that they have witnessed many times in many different systems of life and many different places of expression of DNA that they have witnessed, that they have been part of. Uh, their role is one of um, masters of bringing about life and expression of life through DNA. And they do this in many different star systems. And Earth is a special project of theirs, one that they've been involved with since the beginning of her time, her consciousness here. And so we connect with them now to hear their message and what we can do to fully embrace this wonderful opportunity that we have before us here with the energy available. Please welcome the Mantis. Yes, hello. We come to you at this time during this radical transition on Mother Earth because it is during this time that you have the ability and the opportunity to embrace more and more of your soul energy, the full mosaic of your soul energy into the being that you currently reside in, the physical being that you currently express your energy self as. This opportunity is one that has not been available to you until now. There have been many shifts and changes in Earth's field, in her body, in her expression, as well as the response of her body and her expression to the multitudes and waves of energy that are flowing in to Earth's atmosphere through the many suns and planets that are expressing themselves through their own collective expansion and through the repository of information that is present in the universe. We all reflect upon each other and effect each other's evolution. Earth is a broadcaster of a tremendous amount of energy and the advancement of her consciousness, the expansion of that consciousness and her evolution has a great deal of impact upon many other star systems in this galaxy and far beyond it. We are keepers of Earth's safety and energy field. We are here in service to her. And as such, we are here in service to humanity as well to assist your collective expansion. Your knowledge base grows with each aspect of your soul energy that you can bring into the fold of your human expression in this now moment. You have been operating as a fractal of the energy that is available to you from your soul energy. Think of your soul as a sphere of experience and energy. You operate outside of that sphere as a human expressed in the physical. At least that is your perception. The reality is that everything is taking place within the sphere of your soul's expression and that you indeed are at the center of that sphere. You are one with the consciousness of all that is. Your sphere of expression is a reflection of that consciousness of all that is. But you maintain your belief in and your attributes of separateness, your attributes of having a singular identity or of being a unique and individual aspect of all that is. You are both at once simultaneously. You are merged with all that is and yet you are also your own individual. As that individual having a human experience in this now moment that you find yourselves in, you have the unique opportunity in this point of Earth's evolution 
to grasp and to embrace more and more of the full potential and the mosaic of experience that is available to you within the sphere of your soul. We are here to help you to embody more and more of that experience, to help you to realize more and more of your potential. For the human, that potential is expressed and is realized through your DNA. Your DNA is both physical and energetic. It appears to you in physical form, but yet has many strands of expression around it that are non-physical, energetic. Many of those strands have been dormant for the majority of you throughout your lifetime. You now have the opportunity to bring more and more of those strands and their expression online and fully functional. In order for you to do this, you must inhabit more and more of your oversoul energy, as it is known, more and more of the mosaic of all that you are into this vehicle, this human body that you inhabit and express yourself as now. The ability for you to do that has been a process that many of you have been undergoing over the past several years. It has been a process of peeling away the layers of density, the layers of resistance to that soul energy freely expressing itself through you. This work that you have been engaged in has been important for you to come to this point, to be ready, to be hearing this message now, and to be able to embrace your next step of evolution. That next step is more embodiment. You did not come to be a physical being in order to move out of that physical being. You came to radiate your full self, your full soul energy through a physical vehicle. This is the task of being the human in coming to this energy system. It is to fully feel the embodiment of all that you have the potential to be while still expressing yourself as a physical being. The amount of evolution and advancement that you create within your soul's energy through this process is immense. We live in a holographic universe. Those expansions and advancements that you make radiate out and reflect out into the entire cosmos. You then act as a beacon, a template of action, of positive action for others to witness, to experience for themselves. Earth is a playground of experience. Earth is a potential. The very nature of this soul acts as a potential for multitudes of beings, millions and millions of them, too many to count, each playing their role in the expansion of the universe. Earth is a being who is rapidly changing and who is stepping into her full expression. As she does so, you are also invited to step into your full potential. How many of you are ready to answer that call and to fully step into all that you are? There are many that are still afraid of fully embodying all that they are, all that they have the potential to be. They hide in the shadows behind their trauma, behind their pain. They hide in the shadows behind the DNA that does not fully express itself. So while you may or may not have been engaged in the process of releasing and coming into a state of neutrality with the traumas you've experienced, with the lifetimes you've experienced trauma through your soul energy, which you often refer to as your Akashic field, those imprints of trauma leave tangles of energy in the net of energy around you. It is part of your expression. The more that you release those tangles, the more that you allow 
that net of energy around you to express itself freely without inhibition, without resistance. Letting go of the resistance, this is key. So there'll be many processes that we can help you with to allow you to embody yourself more fully. One simple one that we will leave you with today is the process of finding and attuning yourself to your home note. Your home note is an expression of the vibrational frequency that is embedded within you. It is your prime blueprint. It is the energy you brought forth from your oversoul energy when you first came into being into this body. It is the signature imprint of, you could say, your higher self of all that you are. It is a representation of the mosaic. So with your intention and with your curiosity, you may tune into and express this home note from your being. This home note can be found by sitting quietly in meditation and breathing the energy of your soul into every cell of your body. As you inhale, feeling that energy flow into every cell, imagining it lighting up your DNA, attuning it to the energy and to the notion that you can embody and inhabit all of the energy of your soul. And as you breathe this in and activate your body and bring it into a state of equilibrium, you then may discover your home note by feeling into the vibration. For some of you, it will arise through your vocal cords spontaneously. And for others, it will be necessary for you to move up and down the scale, moving through the octaves, just as though you were moving through the octaves of dimensional frequencies. Move through, express through the voice, all of the different notes that are possible. Associate each one with a chakra if it helps you, but move through. And then when you feel yourself hit the note that is the true expression of you, of who you are, you have found your home note. Sing your home note several times a day to bring yourself into that state of equilibrium and connection. As you sing your home note, imagine that you are embodied more and more of your soul energy within you. Allow that to be the calling card that you share with each and every being who crosses your path. Allow yourself to become the beacon of energy that expresses the true essence of your being loudly, clearly, without fear. It is time for all of you to come out of the shadows and to express yourselves freely and boldly within this changing landscape. In the coming weeks, there will be a culmination, a building of energy around you. It will culminate at the spring equinox. That will be a wonderful time of renewal, of rebirth for many of you, for you to break through the shells of restraint, for you to fully embody aspects of self that allow your DNA to fully express itself, to bring more strands online. We wish nothing more than humanity to be the reflection of all that is possible on Mother Earth at this time. We know that many of you will answer this call and will continue your journey and will boldly step into all that you have the potential to be. We thank you for your presence and for your attention, and we look forward to speaking with you again. Many blessings. Thank you everyone for listening. I hope that that message resonates with you. And if you'd like to hear more from the Mantis, you can join me in the Light Vibes group. I meet every month with a vibrant group of wonderful souls. We come together and we do meditations together. I lead um, a group called Connections in the Field that allows my participants to come and ask questions, anything that is on their mind and get guidance from the Mantis or the Arcturians or other guides that I also bring forward. And that 
monthly group also has a live webcast each month on the topic of the month. And so I encourage you to join me if you would like more information and more guidance and more assistance with your evolution. You can find me at um, www.jaylenetracy.com or at the lightvibesnetwork.com. Either one works and you can access the um, Light Vibes learning community right there from my webpage. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day and a wonderful month of March. Definitely do whatever you can to get yourself embodied and connected and grounded into earth and into feeling like you're bringing more and more of your soul energy into your physical being. That is definitely the name of the game right now. And I look forward to seeing you next month to find out how it went for y'all. All right. Take care. Bye for now.